celebrate Canada Day and to commemorate the work and sacrifice of these men and their families. Almost 150 years ago, Chinese immigrants traveled far from their homeland for a new life in a brand new country. They left China in the hopes of supporting their family in Canada. They first worked on public projects such as roads and the digging of canals. If these skills served them well and were in demand. In the late 1870s, Canada had begun to build its railway in British Columbia and needed a large number of workers. The joining of our country by rail was significant as it promised and encouraged British Columbia to join over 15,000 Chinese pioneers helped to build the railroad, which now connected eastern and western Canada. However, the toll on the Chinese community was enormous. Many had risked their lives to build the railroad, and as a result, over 4,000 of them died. Now that the work was done, it was the beginning of more hardship for the Chinese. In Canada, they were no longer welcome. And over the years, Chinese Canadians suffered injustices such as the Chinese Head Tax and Exclusion Act, personal attacks, and job discrimination. It was just over a week ago that the Chinese community celebrated the second anniversary of Canada's official apology to head taxpayers and their families. In my day job as the executive director of the Chinese Canadian National Council of Toronto Chapter, I can see that discrimination still exists in our country today, not only towards the Chinese community, but towards other racialized communities as well. I think it is critical to, for us to remember the historical contributions and sacrifices made by the Chinese community in order for us to move forward and grow as an integral part of Canada's multicultural society and their families, and we are proud to be here to commemorate their contributions.